All right, hey everybody, Brian again from PNB Homesteading. Wanted to give you the update for the large grow tent. Let me grab the camera, I'll take you over there. And you saw in one of the updates this week, we've already got the uh, the new little peppers over there. But we'll start over here. The uh, poinsettia shrub tree is doing great. So is its uh, offspring companion back there. The pepper plant here has got a lot of nice new blooms on it. You can see there's lots of lots of nice little blooms on there. And so those are gonna be forming into peppers. And there's just a lot on here. And the reason why I uh, did the growth over here is because, I mean, you can see these are really nice looking, beautiful little peppers. Good size for salads. And you know, I wanna have a bunch of these for the winter for all the salad we grow in our mid-sized tent. So, I mean, you can see there's one there. We already harvested up three this week for our salad. And you can see there's probably gonna be four ready for next week. There's another one down there, kind of a smaller one. But uh, this thing is really going to start banging out some peppers soon. And so that's why we came over here. These are all seeds that came from that plant there, one of the peppers. So I'm going to call these, these are going to be called the Costco peppers because that's where Paula bought these organic peppers is from Costco. So and I have no idea what they're called, but I'm going to call them the Costco peppers. <laughs> Give Costco a little plug there. But uh, yeah, I transplanted all of these. They were in the uh, little two inch cow manure pots. And uh, you can see, kind of see one of the pots there. But uh, I potted those into these uh, five inch pots and I put some water underneath there so it's absorbing in there and you can see the soil starting to moisten up a little bit. And I gave, did dribble some down in between here just so that way I've got them sitting in some water so that way it'll get that soil a little moist. And then I won't water this for a, you know a day or so that way I let it dry out because peppers don't like to have their feet wet. So we're gonna have a whole bunch of peppers. These are these are the superstars over here. These are the uh, the sorta just you know sprouted, and then here we got the the ones that you know they may make it, they may not. So and if all these take, I'm gonna have a really tight tight growing area in here for peppers. So because besides this. As you know, in the, uh, the mid-sized tent, I'm growing tomato plants, some deterministic tomato plants. So they're gonna be kind of intermixed in here in these various areas just to uh, fill up all the space. So it's really gonna be kind of cool this year once I get things really going, because when everybody's eating store-bought tomatoes and peppers and lettuce, I'm gonna have all mine growing inside of here. So it's gonna be really cool. And I mean, I love, I love doing this kind of stuff. And if you guys have been watching my channel, you know that I love growing stuff. And I said that this year I was going to cut back and uh, not do so many videos and so much stuff under the house. But I'll be dang, man. I can't stop. I'm an addict. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll talk to you again. This has been Brian from PMB Homesteading. Bye.